Hi everybody, the objective of this video is to describe a method to prepare RNA from SARS-CoV-2 in vitro. This RNA can be used as a positive control in the detection of viral RNA by RT-QPCR and to quantify viral RNA. We will see how to prepare the template RNA, how to perform the in vitro transcription reaction and the subsequent purification of the transcribed RNA. This is a general protocol that, that can be applied to any template. First of all, we are working with RNA, which requires, requires a few preventive measures to avoid RNA degradation. So we have to always wear gloves, we have to use nucleus-free water whenever possible, we have to use sterile disposable labware in working with RNA, in order to avoid degradation, or reagents and equipment dedicated to the work with RNA should be RNA-free. We have to put the samples in ice at the moment we're working, and to be fast, and to freeze the RNA samples as quickly as possible. Well, we can now start with the description of the template preparation protocol. In vitro transcription is the production of RNA in a test tube using an RNA polymerase which is usually derived from a, far, from a phage, we have ribonucleotides and the appropriate buffer. In this manner, we produce the multi-target SARS-CoV-2 uh, RNA from a linearized plasmid. This is necessary in order to obtain all transcribed RNA molecules of the same length, containing only the SARS-CoV-2 multi-target RNA and not other undesired sequences. The plasmid DNA contains a strong phase promoter driving transcription, which is the T7 promoter in our case, and then it contains also the ECOR1 transcription site that will be used to linearize the plasmid. Thus, in this reaction, we will incubate about 25 micrograms of plasmid DNA with the transcription enzyme ECOR1 in the appropriate buffer for about two hours. We have then to check the result of the reaction in an acrylic gel before proceeding, and if it is necessary, we can add more enzyme and incubate for a longer time. We now need to stop the reaction, precipitate the DNA and eliminate residual RNAs and other inhibitors that may be present in order to avoid RNA degradation in the transcription state. Purification can be done using a specific kit there are many of them in the market. Here we will use the nucleus thin gel and PCR cleanup kit from Macra and Nagel. The procedure is done using append of test tubes and a micro centrifuge. Remember to use always sterile and RNA free material in all steps. Here the digested DNA is mixed with two volumes of the binding buffer NTI and loaded onto the column. The column containing the sample is then centrifuged. The LU8 is discarded since the DNA is bound to the column. The column is washed twice with the NT3 washing buffer and is placed in a new clean tube. And after that, we add about 30 microliter of nucleus free water to elute the DNA from the column. We leave for one minute and then centrifuge again and the purified DNA will be in the L8. Alternatively, a protocol to remove the RNAs is in the absence of this a specific kit is the treatment of the DNA with the proteinase K and SDS. The mixture is incubated for 30 minutes at 50 degrees. The DNA is now extracted with phenyl chloroform, centrifuge, and the aqueous phase is recovered, taking care to avoid pipette in the interface. The DNA is precipitated by adding one-tenth of volume of sodium acetate and 2.5 volume of ethanol. Now the DNA is ready to perform the in vitro transcription and generate the SARS-CoV-2 multi-target RNA. For this reaction, we need one microgram of purified linearized DNA template ribonucleotide, buffer, and the T7 RNA polymerase. We incubate the mix for two hours at 37 degrees with the strong T7 polymerase will produce large amount of the SARS-CoV-2 RNA. 
Now we need to eliminate the DNA template that was present in the reaction by adding DNAs, RNAs free enzyme to the mixture and incubating the mixture for another 15 minutes at 37 degrees. The final step is to purify the transcribed RNA by lithium chloride precipitation. To do that, we add 30 microliters of the lithium chloride solution, having previously adjusted the volume with nucleus free water, mix well and chill at minus 20 degrees for 60 minutes. We pellet the RNA by centrifugation at 4 degrees for about 15 minutes at 11,000 Gs, remove the supernatan, wash the pellet with 70% ethanol, centrifuge again to remove the supernatan, and resuspend the RNA pellet in 50 microliters of nucleus free water. To determine the concentration of the transcribed RNA, we quantify the using UV light with a nanodrop and analyze the quality of the RNA by running an acrylamide urea denaturing gel. We stain the gel with methylene blue and wash with water, and then here we can see in the third lane the, the SARS-CoV-2 RNA, and in the other two the control positive control provided by the kit and a, mar a molecular weight marker. So this is all. I think that in, in this manner you will have a, enough amount of SARS-CoV-2 RNA to perform the PCR and the quantification of, of, the, of the virus, of the coronavirus. And I hope that uh, everything was clear. In case you can refer to the ICGB website and uh, that's all.